All right, guys, we got a 2008 Honda Accord. And uh, bring this car to my shop. This is my buddy's car. He's a friend of mine. All right, and uh, he told me last night sometimes his car doesn't start and sometimes he plays on the terminals. And um, bring the car here. It started up good. But once I bring the car over here, I try to open my doors, bring the car right here. I was gonna do his axle and stuff. And I bring the car here and put the car over here. Then I went, opened my other doors, went to change my clothes so I could start on this car, lift this car up, change the axle, tie rod and the exhaust seal. But the car never cranked up from over here, right? I tried to jump, I tried to play with the terminal like he told me, but uh, I figured out, you know, it has a bad starter, all right? This car has a bad starter, so I'm gonna be changing the starter motor on this. And you guys are gonna see how to change the starter on this car. This is a 2.4 liter engine. If you have a 2003, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, Honda Accord, all right? From 2003 to 2012, Honda Accord, four cylinder only, all right? Four cylinder, 2.4 liter. Same process. We need to remove this intake manifold over here, get that out of the way. The starter is right below that. But let me show you what's going on, all right? I'm not even gonna put the jump on because I already tried the jump box. And uh, all I, all you hear is a click, click. Customer says sometimes it starts over, sometimes it doesn't, and, um, but uh, it's gotta go, right? I already spoke to him. We're gonna be doing this job. But let me try one more time. If I could get lucky if it starts up and we'll take it up on the lift, but uh, you hear that? That's the starter clicking, all right? The starter, the, it clicks, but the crank, it does not crank, all right? It does not turn the engine over. It tried at one point, then it just gave up. So if you hear that noise, Don't pay attention to my key noise. I'm talking about the noise I hear you hear under the hood. It goes click, click. Let me take my camera and I'll put it right here so you can hear it because inside you're hearing key, all right? I'll put my camera right over here, right on this car. I don't know what you're seeing right now, but uh, you know what? I'll put it right here and I'll put my light up there. This is the Honda Accord right here. There's the engine. All right, so I'm gonna crank it. All right, guys. There we have it. That starter on this car. And we're gonna replace the starter. I'm gonna show you guys step by step. And uh, that's it, guys. And also, he has a broken air duct pipe right there. I'll put some tape on it for him because he's already spending a lot of money and I let him know he could find that thing online much cheaper than over here and that's it guys and we'll continue once I settle up in here all right guys um, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off these retainers I want to get this little guy out of there and and there's a whole bunch of clips all around here there's some over here all right so use a flathead screwdriver or something similar to this clip removing tool right here and then just take your clips put it somewhere safe all right they're all around I got this pry bar over here because this car doesn't have that little stand for the hood anyways there it is and right down below in here, I am able to see the other two clips because I'm not gonna remove this whole little guy out of here. I'm not gonna take off all these screws because all I need is to get my hands on top of this little guy right here. All right, there's one clip right there. All right, put that to the side. And there's one more, guys. There's two clips on this. And once I have the second one out, should be able to get this little guy out of here. All right, there's the clip in there, still stuck. And I got this little guy out of here. Once you have that out, you got a lot of clearance here now, guys. And we need to take this whole manifold right here off. All right, let me, we're not even looking. 
So we need to take off this whole manifold. Once you have this little guy off, you got a lot of clearance over here, right? So we're gonna be taking a lot of vacuum lines. But only thing, one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna disconnect that throttle body connector. I do not mess with that throttle body thing, all right, guys? But don't stretch the connector either, guys, all right? So, let's start off by uh, not disconnecting the battery either, guys, because there's uh, some things I follow, right? But we do need to be careful when we remove the starter. There's a hot cable that goes straight to it from the battery. So we're not gonna disconnect that battery, right, guys? So let me go get some tools. I'm gonna go get number 10 for this and some uh, uh, needle noses for this little guy right here. All right, guys, so let me get my tools. All right, guys, so let's start off by removing this number 10 here. Sometimes it's a number eight. All right, so this one is number 10. And also we need to take off this vacuum line right here. This is not a, this is just a air, it sucks it from the, it's not a vacuum line, I'm sorry, just a ventilation pipe from the man, uh, I'm sorry, from the wall cover, it, and it sucks uh, fumes, any gas type of fumes in there. Usually this one is not so easy to remove, so if you have help guys, that'd be a good idea, if somebody can help you, because you do need to. Pull it like that, all right? Just don't yank the crap out of it because you don't want to damage the other lines, all right? And there's nothing else holding this, all right? There's nothing else, all right? Let's see if we can get this out easily and gently, all right? There you go. And it's cracked there. I'll put some black tape on it really nice. This will probably give them a little bit better gas mileage just because this airflow sensor right here, it monitors air. And if you have a hole like that, it's gonna suck air beyond the point where it cannot monitor, all right, guys? So let's go a little bit over this way, and we're gonna start taking things off this little guy, all right? So let me put my camera here. I'm gonna my light over. I'm gonna take out the two number 10s here. One, two, all right? And you should be able to get this cover off. All right, you got a little grommet here, it goes right there. All right, put that somewhere safe. Next, we're gonna be removing a couple of uh, vacuum lines all around this, a couple of connectors probably. There's a vacuum line over here. Let me see if I can bring my light on this side. All right guys, right down here, you have this little vacuum line, usually it will break the vacuum line, but try to take it easy. What I like to do is, I will try, so this vacuum line goes right here to this EVAP sensor probably, and uh, do not break the manifold, alright? If you need to break the line, break the line, alright? All right, there you go. The line usually it breaks on me. So the line did break, but you can splice this and put it right back. It's like brand new, all right? No problem, all right, guys? And uh, let me take my light over here. Right in the center over here, you have a line. This probably goes to the brake booster. So very important vacuum line, all right? If this is the brake booster line. Again, like I said, this is plastic see this is a plastic so you do not want to break that so this came off pretty easy very good all right guys and now we're on this side over here somewhere let's see if i could bring my camera over and we can record this side all right guys next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take off this little vacuum line it has a small little wire looking clamp here all right so Take it easy again, it's on the manifold and the, it's a plastic little tubing, internal tubing is a little plastic piece. So all I did was I grabbed it and I twisted it so I could break it, lose the grip of it. All right guys, so far looking good. What I'm gonna do next is, um, I'm gonna take off the number 10 right here. 
All right, put that somewhere safe. And I'm gonna go get number 12. I'm gonna take off the number 12 from the throttle body. And the throttle body will stay to the side. But before that, I do that, let me uh, disconnect this MAP sensor, right? M-A-P. This is a massive absolute pressure sensor right here, right? So all you need to do is disconnect this little guy. It's not gonna be easy because it's been there for a long, long time, right? Uh, I'll probably go get a little pick and lift up the little guy right there because the connector is not doing its job. It's pretty much jammed. All right, guys, got this little pick made by Snap-on. All right, so I'm gonna pick on this little connectors. Little holder, it's like a little holder that grows in there. All right, and now I should be, it's already back a little bit. There you go, all right? And now I have uh, number 12 here. So what I'm gonna be doing here is, guys, let me move my light over. So this throttle body has four bolts, all right? Take it easy. Feel the bolt, all right? If it feels like the bolt does not want to turn out, just leave it alone, all right? Then remove the whole intake with it. The reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because if you disconnect that throttle body, a lot of times you will have a check engine light and it might say RPM higher than expected, all right? Be careful with this gasket, do not lose it. Make sure you put it back, all right? And that's it, we're gonna leave this little guy right there, all right? We got a couple of things to do, which is not a big deal. This little guy is gonna block my view, but I'm not removing this little guy from right here. We don't need to remove it. Right down here, follow down here. There's a number 10 right down here, all right? We're gonna remove that number 10. And right below that, you have a little bracket. It's connected to the intake manifold. It's right there, right? As soon as, as soon as you follow these two pipes, you're gonna see two bolts facing up and the metal bracket is gonna go down and then it has one bolt going into the block. So don't take off the two bolts going into uh, the manifold because it's a plastic, like I said. Like if you try to take off this bolt, it doesn't want to come out, you might rip the housing. Take off the number 12 or 13, whatever it is, that goes into the block and that bracket might have a, some type of clip of a harness going into it. If, you, if it gives you a hard time, just remove that also. But you might not be able to see that, guys, but I'll show you once I lift off the intake. So let me get this little guy out of there, and then we'll remove the bolt on the top, and we'll lift it up, and I'll show you. All right, guys, I did remove this little guy right here, All right? So you see this number 10? It was right here. It was right there where that golden shiny piece is right there. I don't know if you can see it, but... If you look right down here, you'll find that number 10. I took that off. Now I'm about to go all the way down there. You might not be able to see nothing, but I'm gonna leave my camera on so you can see what I'm doing. Number 12, extension and a ratchet, all right? That's what you're gonna need if you wanna do it my way, all right? And we're gonna put the light right there. Like I said, you might not be able to see, but I do want you to see how I'm gonna fish this little guy out of there, all right? So there it is, I have my grip on. This coolant pipe is disturbing me a little bit. It's pushing my ratchet back. I might get a little longer extension. All right, nigga, there you go, guys. I have it. It's broken loose. The grip is broken loose. Let me see if I can grab it just like that now. Let me put my light up here. All right, I'm gonna need the light. It's pretty loose. All right, guys, it's pretty loose. All right, got it loose. I could put my hand over this pipe. Just don't yank the pipe too hard. You might break the 
thermostat housing because it's all plastic. But I have the bolt in my hand, number 12 right here, guys. All right, next, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be removing, uh, I'm gonna be removing the number 12 bolts here. It's one, two, three, four, and there's one behind these uh, little pipes right here. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna take this little guy right here, because I need that clearance, all right? So these little guys right here, just remove them. This is the vacuum line that we took off from right there. Make sure we put it back. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna loosen up all the bolts. That's one. Two. Three, four, this one looks really rusted right over here. And it's loose, all right guys? So I got all the bolts loose and I'm sure there's one more over there. I'll take a look. All right guys, we removed all these bolts. Not removed, but loosened all these bolts. So there's one over here, one over here, one in the middle here, one over here, one all the way at the end. Right below down here, there's one more bolt, all right? Number 12 also. So I need to get that out of there. All right, I might have to switch up my tools. Yeah, I need to switch up my tools. I don't need it to be too long. All right, guys, I went and got me another set of tool. So I have a deep 12 with a smaller extension at the back. All right, you see that it's a little shorter than what I was using. So I'm going to remove this. And I'm gonna use the deep extension, a uh, deep socket with the short extension. That's gonna make it a little bit less lengthy. So I need to figure out where that bolt is. If I take my light, you're not gonna be able to see. All right, let me just take the light for a second. Once I have it on, I'll bring it back. All right, there you go. I have it on. All right. And the bolt is loose all right guys so maybe i can put my hand in there somehow some way and get that bolt out of there it's coming guys it's coming at this point guys these bolts that we're gonna take out i already know how they go but please keep your litter bolts in order all right So whatever you take off, make sure you put it back to keep it in the spot where you're gonna know where that one particular bolt goes. So when you take off this one, put it here. When you take off the top one, put it on the floor like in order, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing anyway. I'll put it down there. And this little guy fell off from right there. So make sure you remember to put that back in. All right, guys. All right, so we're back over here now. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my little electric gun. All right, it's okay for you to remove all the bolts out with the power tool. But when you're putting it back, make sure you put it back according to torque spec. All right, I'm gonna be pre-tightening these. And then once I'm done, I will tighten these again. All right, there you go. I'm putting them on the floor in order, all right? Right, guys there you go got them all out keep them in order and now we should be able to there's gonna be another metal piece on this little throttle body here so make sure you save that also all right guys so pretty much everything is loose and we should be able to maneuver this guy around there's gonna be a wacky line right back over here. Let me see if I can bring my camera over and then. All right guys, I'll bring my camera a little bit further. So we have a vacuum line right here guys. And uh, either you could take it off the PCV valve. And what I'll do is I'm gonna take it off the PCV valve right here because I'm not messing with that plastic area. 
and make sure you don't drop anything inside this engine all right so thought about it it's bothering me a little bit so let me get this back that way all right guys i need my needle nose and i'm gonna just gently take it off this pcb valve over here all right there you go and there's probably a harness down below somewhere that's gonna probably bother us also but once i have a good look at it i'll see what's bothering us All right, there's no harness. I guess somebody worked on it before. Usually, there's a harness connected. Let me bring my camera over. All right, guys, there's usually a harness clip in here, but this car doesn't have it, either it doesn't have it, or somebody worked on it, but it seems like it doesn't have it, right? So right here is that little bracket of the intake manifold. Do not remove those two bolts, like I said. You don't need to, right? these two little guys so right there guys and we have the intake off and right down there let me bring my camera over all right guys right down here right here is the starter motor it has number 17 over here and then it has a number 14 back there it's a deep little stud type so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this little guy out of here from right here so what I'll do is I'll push this little connector in. I'm sorry, this little clip right here. We'll push that in. I like to take off this old pressure sensor uh, connector. Don't forget to put it back in, All right? And uh, I don't know if that's an oil pressure switch. I'll look into it or a knock sensor. That might be a knock sensor, right? Anyways, don't care about that knock sensor, All right? You have this little guy right here. This is the control cable. This is when you turn the starter uh, key. This is what gets the power that engages the relay inside the, the little starter for it becomes a magnet and it clicks the starter in, right? Right here guys, right under this boot, you're gonna have probably a bolt in there, number 12 or something, right? Yeah, that's a number 12 right there. That's live power from the battery. So you can't put a wrench in there and that wrench touches this and that. You're gonna short circuit it, all right? So be careful with that, all right? What I like to do is I like to put like a paper here or something and then try to fish that out of there, all right? So let me go get tools and I will try that. All right, guys, I got my number 12 here. And it's really shiny. Let me put my light this way, all right? That's better. But now my head is gonna be blocking the view. So number 12, I put a tape on it because I don't want to short circuit anything. All right, there you go. It's loose already. You are gonna need number 12, something similar to this, right? You see how it goes in from the edge, All right? Another thing guys is once you have this thing loose, make sure you do not touch that cable anywhere, all right? You're gonna bring it out slowly, and I have black tape over here. Like I said, I did not disconnect the battery. You should disconnect the battery, guys. If you're working, disconnect it. You'll probably radio code if your car has a radio code. I don't know if this car has it. I'm not gonna look into it, but I'm not messing with any of the radio code. Customer is never happy, even though this is a friend of mine, but I don't wanna be giving him an explanation why his radio doesn't work anymore if it does have a code, all right? So, Got the number 12 out, I just put it over there. That's the number 12. All right now, slowly lift this guy out of there. Don't let it touch anything, all right? Do what I always do. This is very handy if you're doing it my way, all right? Everyone has their way, guys. And tape the crap out of this. Make that boot squeeze itself. And look at it, nothing is visible. Bada bing, bada boom, here. It can touch anywhere it likes, all right? I'll stick it over there. Now, I'm gonna take a short break, all right? What I would do is, it's a small little clip right here. You could push that and pull out this harness. 
All right, it's like a little retaining thing right there. If you want, just what I'm gonna do here is, if you have a zip tie, use a tip tie. If not, take some of this black tape, this electrical tape. All right, loop it around. Take your harness here and just tape it right here, right? And let it sit there, guys. And if you have pretty good access to that number 17 there and number 14, and the starter should just magically come out. All right, next, what I like to do is use number 14, deep or short. I'm using a deep here. Right back there, you have a uh, number 14. Right? And all you need to do is break it loose. And once you have it broken loose, remove your other tool and you should be able to okay let me go get short because it's gonna hit my sensor this deep one is gonna hit my sensor so i get number 14 short socket and i'm gonna get this little guy out of there all right once it's loose it should come out but it's not coming out it's, you know it's been there for a long time Guys, we're gonna have to just keep going just like this. All right, let's see if I can get it out by hand. coming a little rough but it's coming all right a few more turns probably Come on. Gotta put my gear wrench back in. I mean, ratchet. All right, guys, there it is. This is one of it, put it somewhere safe. And I'm gonna go get number 17 with extension and an impact gun. That's how I'm gonna remove the other one. I'm not wasting my energy and I'm not killing my back. All right guys, I got me number 17 with the extension, all right, and my impact gun. So all we need to do is tap this little guy. You're not gonna be able to get the whole thing out because your impact gun is probably gonna hit in the back on the alternator side. All right, once you have it loose, guys, and that's it. And after that, you can just do it manually, all right? So let me see if I can put this socket on now. All right, it's loose, but it doesn't want to come out. So let me go get one or two tools to get that thing out of there. All right, guys, I went and got me a number 17 right here with my electric uh, ratchet here. So. All right, it's loose. And there's our big long bolt, all right? That's a number 17. And guys, the starter should come out, all right? There you go, all right guys? We have the starter out. And we're gonna wait for the new starter and we'll put that in. Got a new starter here. All right, and uh, also got a mosquito here, so let me take care of this mosquito first. All right guys, uh, couldn't take care of the mosquito, but we have a starter here, Remy, that's the brand. The part number is 16128, all right? 
always match up the connector, the housing and everything, the gears, all right, before you put in the starter, all right? But anyways, the starter is good. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it in this starter right here. And uh, I'm gonna show you step by step. We're gonna follow the reverse procedure now. So we're gonna put this starter in there first. All right, align it. You're gonna take your number 17 bolt, which goes down here. All right, guys, catch the threads. Once you catch the threads, what I'm gonna do is I just snug there, all right? I didn't tighten it, guys, yet because we still gotta put the other bolt in. Make sure you put both of the bolts in before you tighten anything. Let me see if I can snug this in with my little tool here. Let me get my number 14. All right, whatever makes life easy, guys. There it is, I should have done that when I took it out. There's the cleaner, the cleaner is gone. That's a sweet uh, street sweeper. All right, guys, so next, you can gently tighten both of these bolts. All right, just don't go crazy with that bolt. You don't want to snap it. If it snaps, you're in big trouble. All right, I'm gonna take this one right here. There it is guys, both of my bolts are tight. Now we're gonna put the harness in together, but be careful with this little guy. So let's take our holding tape off, throw that out of there. Now I need to find the joint here where I ended it at. So let me figure that out. All right, guys, let me remove this and then I'm gonna come back. Oh, it's right here, got it. I just didn't wanna make the video too long. I'm trying to look for that little guy. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me stop the camera. There we have it, guys. So let's push this boot back a little bit. Slowly, gently, do not touch anything. Get that little guy in there. You're going to take your bolt, catch the threads. Try to get it as much as you can, all right? And take your number 12. Don't let it touch, even though you have tape on it. The more you be careful, the more better, guys. So let's tighten this little guy. All right, guys, there it is. And don't forget to push this boot on top of it. That's what protects everything from being short-circuited. All right. Let me get that guy on it, and there it is. It has this jacket, that's what I'm calling it. Don't forget your sensor over here, the connector. If you forget that, you probably can fish it from the bottom, but good luck. Don't forget your control cable here. Clicks in very well. Don't forget to push this harness back where it belongs. Bada bing, bada boom, all right? I'm gonna go get my intake manifold. We're gonna put that on, all right? Make sure nothing goes in the engine. Make sure this is nice and clean, all right? So that's pretty good. All right, guys. There's the bracket. This is the hold of it. This number 12 goes over there. And I did take off this little bit. Push this vacuum line back on. All right, make sure your gas gets on. All right, now is the part where you slowly gotta get this guy in there to its 
original spot. Maneuver things around if you need to. All right, there I have it, guys. Number 12, nut is here. All right, let me get my number 12 extension here. That will help me get these bolts in there. That's one, guys. And then we have the, I'm just picking them up wherever they belong. I have them like in order, just the way I put left that one, just the way it looks, all right? Looks like a little diagram on the floor. I got this one sitting where it belongs, this one sitting in the one position, and I pull the bolt that goes here. All right, guys, and this one goes right there. They're pretty much almost the same size, but you know, just in case. There's people out there, they're doing it for the first time. So they need to know just in case, you know. This little rusted one is over here. All right guys, so far looking good. And I have one more which goes all the way back over here. Let me see if I can get that thing in there by hand. All right guys, I got them in there. Let me see if I can catch a couple of threads or all of them all right guys got that in there now my reverse procedure is gonna continue all right before anything guys I'm also gonna put that number 12 on the bracket down all the way down here all right catch all the threads i can possibly catch on that there you go all right so far looking good guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tighten this this that so i'm gonna work the gaskets outwards all right There's one, there's two, there's three, double check, double check, before we go any further guys, uh, let me just pay attention to my vacuum lines on this side, this is tight, this is tight. There's my vacuum lines guys and don't forget this little vacuum line down here all right let's just continue one thing i forgot guys remember this little thing right here there's a piece left behind on the intake it's better if you haven't done it yet get that in first all right because that's gonna make your life a little easy so get that little guy out of there you could splice it with a blade and put the new vacuum line in there like smooth, all right? Let me put, all right, let me put this little vacuum line over here for the that one that goes on the PCV valve, all right? Very important, before I go any further, guys, I believe this goes to the brake booster. Before I do anything, you know, very important vacuum line right there, all right? There you go. If you forget that, you're not gonna have no brakes, all right? So I still gotta tighten number 12 on this side. So let me come across. And I do need to switch up my extension socket. Where did I put it? I know I had a sh number 12. I'll be back, I gotta look for that too. Here's my number 12, the short, a deep one with the short extension. So we're gonna get this last bolt back over here. All right, 
once this is tight the whole manifold is in its place and it will not move you're pretty much more than halfway done all right this is a pretty long bolt guys so let me get this in there guys also need to go down below for the bolt on the bracket let me see if I can fish that from right here Not gonna forget this vacuum line don't worry about it all right but these other two vacuum line these two vacuum line does have a little mounting place where they belong at and i believe this little vacuum goes okay one goes to this this is not an evap this goes to the engine mount all right controls the engine mount all right our next step is gonna be a number 10 bolt all the way down there right so that's gonna be our next step don't forget to put this little connector on the map sensor All right number 10 goes over here had a customer show up had to put some air in the tires but number 10 goes right here all right make sure you catch all the threads as much as you can and then you're gonna take your number 10 and we're gonna tighten this little guy and that should hold the harness in place and next thing we're gonna do is the throttle body guys I had to stop the video a little bit. Somebody was out there jamming their music. That's the only thing I hate about this corner I have. Everybody wants to jam their music. All right, that's tight, guys. And uh, what I'm going to do next is just be careful with your seal here. If you can see what I'm doing right here. So we are ready to put this throttle in. Just make sure your seal. Take the seal, guys. It goes on to the... The intake itself because it has a groove that it sticks right into just like that All right and we have this little guy that goes on right here this is where the, the bolts go into if you don't put this on you're not gonna be able to catch any threads on those bolts I had another one where did I put the other one so there's one in the front there's one in the back all right if you didn't pay attention to it, you dropped it, guys. So look, pick it up, look for it. Like I said, if you don't have those two things on, you're not gonna catch these bolts into it because you see that? The threads go onto that little fella. All right, and there number 12, you can grab a socket with extension and just turn them, all right? Same thing in the back. Right, this little pose is bothering me, so I'm gonna have to maneuver it around a little bit. And same thing in the one in the bottom below, so all four are caught. I want you to tighten these guys in a sequence where that gasket is flush. So, what you do is you're gonna take your number 12, you're gonna tighten a little bit here. A little bit there, a little bit there, and a little bit right there. And after you're done, just make sure they're nice and tight. You could torque them if you need specs, hit me up, send me a message. 
right? I'm a mechanic, guys. So I know how much I have to tighten this, and I have a good feel to it. It goes into a plastic. You don't want to yank it, break it. Critical bolts, you do need to tighten. All right, and I am going to double check these, but I want to get this car going because I got other things to do in this car. And then we have a number 10 over here. If you do not want to take off this 10, you can simply take off the harness from right there. But it's easy for me to just remove it. All right, and then you take your number 10. All right, there it is, guys. Don't forget the vacuum line. Vacuum lines are always important. Vacuum lines might give you trouble if you forget, all right? Big trouble. All right, and I hate this little guy right here. There you go. This retainer has no function. Doesn't even function the way it wants to function. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring my light over and I'm gonna put on the Air duct pipe right here. Remember, this is broken. I'll put a tape for him. You know what? I, it's out right now, so I'll take some tape. I am gonna recommend him buy this piece, bring it in, and we'll throw it in for him. All right. So a couple of loops. But you know what? I'm gonna find out this piece, and maybe I give him a call. Whatever it costs me, I'm gonna put it on for him. All right, there is a couple of loops. Uh, I'm gonna start this car. You know, I gotta move it up on the lift. So I do need to get this car going right now. So this goes in there and the other side goes in over here into the air filter housing. Should be very simple and don't forget your air line here. You might have to squeeze that little clamp and get the holes in there right there is guys so this job is almost complete and i just need to work on one vacuum line on the other side make sure your pipe is nice and in double check everything all right guys this vacuum line very important here vacuum line the connectors throttle bodies in everything is in we need to put the little pipe here i could put that on later but right now I need to get this vacuum line in guys I'm gonna get this vacuum line then I'm gonna come back and then we'll crank this car up together alright guys so stay tuned and then put on the top cover alright guys if you forgot this little guy like I did use a pick to pull it out and then uh here it is I have it right here this is the little guy and what we're gonna do here is I'm sorry I had a little I used to cut plugs with this I'm gonna cut this little bit so it's even surface, all right? And one vacuum line and a two vacuum line. And let's put this little guy in where it belongs. All right, still lengthy enough for us to reach the spot. He's gonna have to reroute a little bit behind the pump. Make sure it's on the thing. Make sure it's on the, the holder or zip tie if you need to, guys. So there it is. My vacuum line is in. All right, guys. Bada bing, bada boom, and I'll put this little air cleaning out air pipe right here in a moment. But it's time for me to crank this. So let me move my camera back a little bit, and then we'll crank it. I picked up all of my tools. I got everything back together, and it's time for me to start it. Just double check everything. All of my vacuum lines are in. Those are in. This is in. This is in. This is in. Got this pipe in. Push that in a little bit. Throw the body sand, everything is connected. Let's see guys. I'm about to hit the crank button here. All right guys. There we have it. Magic, all right. So if you have a 2003 to 2012 Honda Accord, 4-cylinder, that's how you're gonna replace the starter motor. And don't forget to put your cover on. This little grommet goes into that little guy right there. So align that and give it a tap. 
Put the number 10 bolt here. Put the number 10 bolt there. Take your number 10. All right, guys. Thank you. Subscribe, share, and like all of my videos. And uh, the last thing I need to put up is this little guy. It has two clips on it. Let me remove my impact gun from right there. And my electric gun. All right. So one clip goes here. All right, guys. I'm going to get this in. You don't need to see this part. But we're done pretty much. All right. We'll see you on the next one, guys.